crafted this telescope to observe the initial galaxies that lit up the universe. In just 12 hours, it revealed profound mysteries, reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. Recent findings by the Webb Telescope shed light on previously unknown aspects of our universe. As it peers into the distant past, the telescope unravels mysteries beyond our prior perception. A groundbreaking discovery challenges our fundamental understanding, suggesting we might be mistaken about the universe's size. Scientists disclose that images from the Webb Telescope captured objects a mere 120 million years after the Big Bang, defying expectations and shaking the foundations of standard cosmology. Contrary to earlier beliefs, the universe isn't infinitely old, it surprised even Einstein. Our intuition, often off the mark, confronts the reality that we're consistently uncertain about what we'll discover. The Webb Telescope's gaze into space extends up to approximately 46.5 billion light-years, termed the Hubble Radius. Notably, the farthest galaxy, IES, discovered by the telescope, falls within this Hubble sphere. The universe's expansion enlarges this Hubble region, making objects beyond it visible. Here's the intriguing part, beyond the Hubble sphere's edge, the universe not only expands, but accelerates in its expansion. This acceleration, faster than the speed of light, means the Hubble region won't keep growing indefinitely. Looking at objects beyond this boundary becomes a challenge. The accelerating expansion causes their light to stretch, making it unable to reach us. This leads to a cosmic horizon limit, our observable universe, a 93 light-year wide spherical shell. Anything beyond this limit remains forever invisible, prompting the question, how vast is the entire universe outside our cosmic walls? A few months back, the Webb Telescope uncovered massive galaxies just a few million years after the Big Bang, challenging our understanding of the universe. According to our current model, it's nearly impossible for galaxies to form so quickly, it would require almost all the gas in the universe to turn into stars with near 100% efficiency. The Milky Way, our own galaxy, took 13.7 billion years to form, but the Webb Telescope found galaxies similar to ours within a few million years after the Big Bang. This discovery has the potential to transform our understanding of the early universe and how galaxies came into existence. In another breakthrough, the James Webb Telescope Research Group, GANIFS, identified two emerging black holes just 700 million years after the Big Bang. The telescope's powerful full infrared capabilities revealed insights into early black hole collisions. Scientists speculate that frequent black hole mergers might be a key factor in early black hole growth. These discoveries hint that the universe might be older than previously thought, possibly even infinite. The idea that our universe has always existed and may not have had a true beginning challenges our traditional understanding. While it raises questions about the Big Bang being just a specific moment in the ongoing evolution of an eternally existing causal set, more research is needed to align this notion with our current scientific theories. It remains uncertain whether an eternal universe without a beginning aligns with our scientific understanding. Share your thoughts in the comments about this ongoing debate in cosmology. That's all for today. In the vast expanse of the universe, spanning we grapple with the question of its size. Current cosmological theories, rooted in mathematics, offer competing answers. While we lack certainty, estimates suggest our observable universe is a mere fraction, at least 200 trillion times smaller than the entire cosmos. Venturing further into complexity the universe's astronomical scale becomes apparent. A mind-boggling figure. 10 to the power of 122 times larger than our observable universe, reflects the potential vastness beyond our perception. Yet, the uniform distribution of matter and the background radiation hint at the possibility that our universe might be infinite. Mark, we embark on a temporal journey. Peering deep into space means glimpsing into the past, with galaxies near the Hubble sphere revealing a bygone era, billions of years distant. This aligns with the standard cosmological model, proposing a singular event approximately 14 billion years ago, the Big Bang. However, a twist emerges. If the universe is truly infinite, the Big Bang wasn't a localized genesis, it occurred everywhere simultaneously. 
Galaxies didn't form in specific regions, they emerged ubiquitously, even beyond our observable universe. Diving into philosophy around the six-minute mark, we encounter differing viewpoints. The steady-state model, once favored, argued against a singular beginning. Einstein initially resisted the concept of a Big Bang but yielded to the evidence. The cosmic microwave background radiation, detected everywhere, becomes a crucial clue to the universe's origin. But challenge the notion of a singularity as the starting point. Instead, it becomes an infinite space where everything everywhere came into existence about 13.8 billion years ago. This narrative, while explaining much, faces challenges from new discoveries via the Webb telescope, urging a rethink of our understanding. Finally, at the eight-minute mark, the Webb telescope's revelation of the ultra-high redshift galaxy F200 dB045 disrupts our assumptions. With an estimated redshift of Z equals 20.4, corresponding to 168 million years post-Big Bang, it challenges the standard model. If confirmed, it could reshape our understanding of